Jose. Ayun. Parang yan nilasuot mo kahapon. Yan nilasuot mo. Jerome as, ano mga kapatid? Dante. Dante. Dimla. Hi, you guys. Of course, nanood kasama natin si Diego Luizaga as both Ed and Kokoy. Ah, nag-CR lang. Ayun, so if you have any comments or questions about our movie, ayan, nandito kami to give your... Bumati ka muna dyan. Hi guys! I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope also uh, we spread the word more, 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 more. No? Malapit na talaga ang showing ng pelikula na to. Less than a week to go. So, thank you for making time tonight. And sa biyahe nyo ngayon, alam nating biyarnes, no? Traffic talaga, pero nandito kayo. Thank you for the support and the dedication. Yeah! Hi, good evening everyone. Um, Maraming salamat, katulad na sabi ni Jasmine, for coming here. Yung ba sa inyo, kasama ko rin kahapon. So, hopefully, nagustuhan niyo yung uh, movie. And, um, ano ba, uh, take away na naman ba yung mga questions? Pero, uh, oh, si ano lang, kwentuhan lang tayo. Oo, oh, kwentuhan lang. And, uh, excited kami kung ano yung dala sa inyo ng movie itself. And, um, uh, ayun, makita niyo kung ano yung talaga. Ito, may kanya-kanya kaming reasons, anong feel namin sa movie. Go, Jax. Say it. What was the question? Say hi to everyone. Oh, Anna, uh, I was here na kanina, but yeah, again, thank you guys for, for coming, and I hope you did enjoy it. Sana meron kayo na ibulot na parang ano, message, or even answer, kasi nakita mo naman yung journey ng character ni Jerome dun sa movie, and then dun sa, sa huli. So, yeah, sa huli. Yan yung revelation, eh. But, yeah, ang galing, galing, ganda. Okay, before doon ng Q&A, ano mo na, photo of mo na. And after even the smaller roles, they're, they're really good. Especially yung huta, so that's why <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, my question is, uh, eh, light na lang muna tayo. Yung uh, five na moves, the different yung ano nila, parang, harapan, parang different silhouettes, ganyan. Um, sino yung pinakagusto yung bumu? Kung kayo papipiliin na. Yeah, and why? Mumu or forever man? Forever yeah, man or forever. Ah, forever yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the mumu Kasi man. Pala is the, the people, is the, person behind the uh, Yeah, or the character man. itself. Yeah, yeah. You say, but the character nung ginagap pa na. Oh, so yeah, the forever yeah, hire mo na forever man, you know? <laughs> 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 Kung muna, kasi ikaw yung nag-aan eh. Nagpo-portray ng ano eh. Nang uh, nasa likod ng motion um, sensors. For me kasi, pinakagusto ko talaga yung yung character ni um, Jeko as uh, Forever. Kasi, um, hindi, parang hindi ako yung pro mga bad boy. Yung, pansin nyo naman eh, sa lahat ng lights doon, di ba? Puro lahat sila may maangas, parang kukunin ka talaga. Ako gusto ko yung, alam mo yun, katulad ni Diego, in real life, gusto lang niya happy lang, yun, ganun. Al alam mo, same ako, actually. Wow, ganun. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Inintay lang kita, sumag... <laughs> ne, ne, ne. Um, interesting makuha ang boy next door, pero feeling ko, for a change, gusto ko may experience yung uh, paano makipag-away sa isang tunay na bad boy sa relasyon. Kasi, Oh, eh. So far, I've been lucky na wala akong nakarelasyon na ganong bad boy. Yung tipong yung, yung sasagutin ka sa away mo nang hindi tulad nung character ni Jagger or paano pinortray ni Jerome yung character ni... Oh, 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 as Dante. Pero yung talagang yung, yung nakakainis, yung parang lahat na lang away sa jowang yon. Yun yung gusto kong ma-experience na ano na walang patawad, hindi ka pinagtitripan. Yung talagang away. Gusto ko yung ma-experience. Wala lang, hanap away lang talaga. <laughs> Para lang maiba lang yung sagot ko. Gusto ko yung kind door. <laughs> si Gigolo. Pangarap ko kasi maging Gigolo. Thank you guys. Ako parang pangarap ko yung rich guy. <laughs> Kaya ang kardaling kanya sa London. Hello. Oh. Parang Christian Grey, yun ba yung bag mo when you're oh. riding it? Oh. Tapos kung mas may budget lang kami, maglalagay pa kami. Yung talaga makita mo sa VR, oh. dadaling kita sa London. Yeah. Ah, okay. 
Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, next question is for Jago because you are like having da dancing scenes there. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> then, not, parang, did you practice it alone? Then did it sa set na, or did you like have a friend or how housemate or something? Check it first. As you can see in the movie, my, my dancing moves did not need any practice because they were terrible. <laughs> But the truth, the one who really had a hard time was Vito having to copy those dance moves. You didn't copy it, no? You copied it. He copied it too, Thor. The only Thor. 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 But Vito was the first one who was the first one. I was the first one who was the first one. So Vito was the first one who was the first one. So Vito was the first one who was the first one. If he was the first one who was the first one. Vito Marquez was the first one who played Red. He was the first one who was the first one. Last question for Jerome. Start palang nakita ko na sobrang on point ng portrayal mo ng asamo na may anxiety disorder. So, do you like interview people, consult shrinks about it? Oh well, um, nung inoffer sa akin nito, kinuwento niya lang sumuna sa akin. Bago i-offer agad ng viva, inunahan niya nito like, oh, may gagawin tayo agad yan. Tiyan nung wakag agad, ano yung basic, um, Uh, synopsis ng character at yung kwento. Sinabi niya agad sa akin yung um, um, yung SAD. Tapos ni-research ko ng konti at ganyan. Then, um, I know hindi pa ako ganun ka-prepared pumunta sa set nun kasi may ginagawa din ako. But every time talaga na every scene, laging may paalala si Drake and ang laking bagay na alam niyo may iba kasing um, uh, makaka-work ka parang hahayaan ka lang. Tapos ikaw naman makikita, lagi naman sasabihin nila. Pero alam mo yung nagkikare talaga para dun sa um, sa sinulat niya, sa palabas niya, tapos sa mga artista niya. Yun, as in every time, talagang um, sinasabi niya sa akin, kailangan po mas ano, tandaan mo, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. So, yun. Kasi um, I have watched you in other roles and I've noticed na most of them were intense externally, pero ito more internal. So... Yeah, I really like your microfacial expressions here. They show a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next question, please. Anyone else? Hello, po. First, um, I'm here, po. Okay. Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> First, congratulations po for the one for the wonderful project po. For the deck, I just wanna know po kung um ano po yung criteria niyo kung bakit niyo rin po sila nabili or nag audition po ba sila for this project? Um, it was very straightforward nung pinag-usapan namin ng Viva kung sino yung cast. Ako kasi they know me na hindi ako umoo lang basta kung sino ibigay nila. Dapat kaya yung role talaga. And itong Glimpse of Forever, napansin nyo, medyo hindi to pwede sa mga kung sino-sinong actor lang or artista. Dapat talaga they have the emotional depth para mabigyan ng buhay, mabigyan ng justice ito yung mga role nila. Imagine, Jego, dalawa yung role. Isang may saltik na lalaki, tapos isang boy next door. Si Jasmine, di ba? Roller coaster yung ginagawa niya from comedy, mataray, iiyak. One take lang, by the way, yung huling iyan niya. Wow! <laughs> Kaya 7 p.m. kami na pack up ng araw na yun. <laughs> yung humiiyak siya. Sorry, sorry. Peki lahat na to. One take. Ah. Tapos si Jerome, nakita niyan, ang laki-laki ng requirements na kailangan para sa role niya. So, of course, ganun talaga yung naging criteria namin muna. Sino pa talaga sa mga artista ngayon yung kaya yung ganitong requirements. And ayan, sila yung napili na. Nakatrabaho ko na sila both, si Diego sa yes. How to Love Mr. Heartless, si Jerome sa Regal, sa Generasyon Sumuko sa Love. Jasmine, first time ko siya makatrabaho. Although, meron pa siyang unreleased movie with John Lloyd na ako yung writer, pero wow. hindi, pa, hindi pa lumalabas, no? Pero ang, ang daring niya doon, ang galing niya, so... Yeah. Yes naman po. Perfect casting po talaga. And just to follow up din po for the cast, 
Ano po yung um, what are the challenges po for for this film since parang since parang virtual talaga yung kausap mo. So paano niyo nagagawa yung ganong eksena? Yung iba naming mga eksena, uh, solo lang namin uh, kinuhaan. So for example, a lot of yung mga nakikita ninyo na eksena nilang dalawa, especially, and then yung eksena ko pag pumupunta doon no? sa uh, forever. So, I think meron akong isa or dalawang take na talagang nung una parang yung tono kasi hindi casual yung pakikipag-usap yung nag-warm up pa siya no, sa papunta doon and, and ako yun yung biggest struggle ko um, kapag wala akong nakikita or wala akong ka-eksena nahihirapan ako kaya hindi ako madalas gumawa ng fantasy or ng mga things na may mga VFX kasi um Dine-develop ko pa yung creativity ng imagination ko when it comes to those things. Uh, so this one, talagang ano lang, you just have to imagine that you really see yung screen ng mga nakikita mong forever man. And um, like like any other role, try to make it as natural as possible. Na talagang nagahanap talaga ako ng aaway and just for that day or just for that moment. Kaya... Meron naman akong mga araw na gano'n talaga in real life. Nagahanap away lang yung scroll ka sa chat, sino ba yung hindi ko pa nire-reply and okay, So, alam niyo na how I am as a person. <laughs> Same question with... Um, I think I, I owe a lot of the magic behind yung mga eksena niyan kay Direk at saka sa editing. Kasi kagaya na nga ng sinabi ni Jasmine, who like... Kokoy, the VR dude, wala talaga ang kaiksena. It was just direct binabatoling lines and then we just react to that. So a lot of that is really some magic ng editing and directing. Yung, the director is the captain of the ship and he imagines how it's gonna, you know, happen. So, yeah. Any question with it? What are the challenges, Bob? Oh, challenge. Oh. Yes. Sa akin kasi bilang yung sa character ko, pinaka-challenges. I mean, yung um, role ko as Dante, okay siya. Pero yung iba't iba yung gaganapan mo tapos yung kagayahin mo talaga lahat. I mean, kinaya ko yung kay Diego, pinanood ko talaga mismo. Tapos mga nakailang takes din kami, hindi naman sumobra ng five. para talagang kailangan parehas na parehas dun sa ano. Tapos first time kong magkaroon ng scene na... Magkaka-exena sa isang green screen talaga yun. Malawak kung saan nyo nakita nyo, ano, talaga. Tapos puro um, camera, tapos minsan papatahilaw, may mga ganong shot. Ang pinaka ano dun is yung kailangan um, sequence na sequence talaga kayo eh. Kasi talaga parehas na parehas. So para sa akin yun yung pinaka um, challenge. And yung sa akin naman yung um, pinagdadaanan na isang taong takot sa, alam mo yun, pakihalubilo. At yung pinagdadaanan niya na kung pa paano siya bilang ano dahil ako wala pa akong experience or nakakasama pa talaga ganun at nakausap so yun yung pinaka-challenge sa akin and how and um, pa paano ko aaralin yun at ilalabas sa screen mismo hindi ko alam kung challenge kay Jerome pero feeling ko lang challenge sa kanya na how do you kasi nakamask siya almost oh yes you know, most of the time so paano mo ano makakuha ng simpatsya using only the eyes or perhaps hindi naging challenge sa akin. Hey, ano ko ba direct? Lagi niya rin pinapaalala sa akin yun. Uh, di ba sabi ko lagi siya may paalala every scene sa sabi sa akin, oh, lahat to dapat mata-mata acting ha, naka ano ka lang, masaya sa dubbing yan. Kasi hindi na kailangan niya, no? pero yung mata mo yun ang kailangan. Yeah, so, yun. Yeah. Okay, congratulations po.